Uh, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Just let me know how can you hear me. Okay, welcome back. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Okay, let me should cut the attendance now. Let me see how many people do we have. 13, Gabriela is there. Sergio, Cecilia, Edwin, Jeanette. Hector is going to be busy. Yesenia is there too. Um, Mercedes, Esmeralda, Jonathan, Candy, Natalie, eh, Natalia, I'm sorry, Carlos Amilcar, eh, Roxana. Welcome. Antes de iniciar, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Uh, si he seguido. Eh, viendo las actividades que han desarrollado en la plataforma. Todavía hay personas que no han concluido la semana 1 y 2. 
Entonces me gustaría saber si es que hay alguna, algún inconveniente para poder ayudarles o pasarlos para a la parte administrativa para que se les pueda dar el seguimiento necesario. Recuérdense que es necesario eh, que hagan todas las actividades para ponerle sus notas y eso es lo que lo va a promover al siguiente módulo. Así que si alguien tiene alguna duda o consulta, en este momento lo podemos hacer. En mi caso no, teacher. Yo, yo voy al día. Ok, perfecto. No tengo ningún problema con el ingreso de la plataforma. Teacher, una consulta. ¿Verdad que en esta semana hay que hacer los de... El primer examen, ¿verdad? El midterm examen. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para hacer ese, Ticho? Cerramos semana. Eh, el martes de la otra semana cerramos tercera semana. Y miércoles iniciamos la cuarta semana. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok. Let, let me see my, the platform. Bueno, veo que las mismas personas son las que tienen eh, la semana 2 que no la han completado. Bueno, algunos de hecho ya hicieron hasta la semana 3. Pero eh, hay algunos que solo se me han quedado con la semana 1. Tengo personas que no me han hecho ni la semana uno. Entonces pedirles de favor que se pongan al día. Al finalizar el módulo. Si ustedes no completan eh, las actividades. Difícilmente serán promovidos. El objetivo es ayudarle a todo el mundo. A que pueda salir hacia adelante. Pero eso depende de usted. Si usted... Eh, no pone de su parte, va a ser bastante difícil. Y en lo personal, pues yo cumplo con lo que me toca hacer. Acuérdense que aquí, pues ya tenemos cada uno las funciones. ¿no? Entonces yo les suplico que aparte un tiempecito y trate de iniciar a, trabajando en las actividades asignadas para que salgamos adelante. ¿Alguna duda o pregunta antes de iniciar? Y se los he dicho justamente en español para que no haya, alguien podrá decir después, no, es que yo no entendí y por eso pasó esto, no. ¿Hola? Okay, let us start now. If you don't have any comments, any question related with this, uh, we are going to start right now.
In order to do that, uh, I'm going to share with you a link. We are going to start with this activity. In order that you can connect with the language. Okay, you got it there. Uh, click, uh, click on it and try to resolve. And later on, we are going to resolve each other. Let us do it. As soon as you finish, we are we are. Uh, I'm going to check the the attendance. Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead now, please. Let us start working on it. As soon as you finish, let me know, please. Okay, teacher, I finish. Okay. Finish the chart. Okay, thank you. Finish the chart. Okay. Finish the chart. Okay. Finish the chart. Okay.
Finish, teacher. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, give me a hand in order to resolve this, please tell me. For example, the number one, I, I look forward for to hit in front of you, formal or informal? Formal teacher. Okay, what about I am in? in? Former. Uh, former, former teacher. Dear Mr. Taylor. Former. Regards. Formal. Can you? Informal. Informal. Bye for now. Informal teacher. Hi, James. Informal. Informal. Hello. Informal teacher. Informal. I could be grateful if you could. Formal. Formal. Right soon. Informal. Best witches. Informal. Informal? Informal. You say it's informal, okay. I am writing to find out about. Formal Informal. Formal or informal? Informal. Informal formal. language. Formal teacher, formal. <laughs> okay. What are Sorry, you? formal, formal. Formal teacher. Formals. I like to know. I like to know. Formal. Okay. You're faithfully. Formal. Formal teacher. Formal. And yours sincerely. Uh, Formal teacher. Formal. Formal. Okay, let us see, let us see. Okay, you did a great job. Okay, thank you.
Okay, this is section number 13. And the topic is a step to write a formal email. That is the reason why we stand this way, you know? So uh, this is video conference number 13, a step to write a formal email. That is the topic. As soon as you see the, the topic, what can you tell me about? What comes to your mind? Hello? Any idea? No? It is important to begin, begin with a uh, greeting. Okay, I'm going to share with you uh, this diagram, but first of all, let me check out the attendance here. As soon as I finish, we are going to start talking about that picture. Okay, America, say hello if you are there. No, okay, Carlos Amilcar. Present. Thank you, Cecilia. Present. Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Gisela Guadalupe. Héctor Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid Geraldina. Present. Jonathan Stanley. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Roxana de Jesús Álvarez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara Alejandra. Present teacher. Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Janet del Carmen. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset Aguila, Aguilera Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let us start seeing this picture and you can ask questions if you want. First of all, uh, I invite you to take a look at, at the part of a professional email message. This is a professional email message guideline. I'm going to start with this and later on we are going to start talking about the first activity. Uh, I would like to introduce my topic in this way, showing you how we are going to write formal email, professional email. Right here, we got the subject line. It has to be con concisely convey your purpose for writing. For example, thank you. Assistant account, executive interview. The next step is greeting. Always include a greeting. Uh, dear Miss Do, I enjoy speaking with you today about the assistant account executive position at the Smith Agency. The job seems to be an excellent match for my skill and interest. Okay, the next part uh, had to do with the lens is this. Keep it as concise as possible. And another thing that we don't we don't have to do is just to avoid em emoticons, you know, avoid in a professional email, we we are not going to use any kind of emotion icon. And also 
Spelling and grammar is really important. Edit carefully before sending. You can check it. Right now, we can find in internet different uh, application on, uh, or tools in order that we can uh, correct our writing. And also talking about fonts style, avoid ornate, uh, playful, or color fonts. Remember that we are going to write down a professional email message. So if you want, you can may, uh, take a screenshot in order that you can keep it because this is just the introductions of the topic. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. And at the end, uh, we have sincerely John Smith and we are going to click here not to send it. If you are going to attach something, you can click in this R. Well, just let me know if you have any question related with this right now. If not, I'm going to give more explanation and, and tips in order to write a professional email. Just let me know if you have any questions so far from here. Hello? No, teacher. Okay, thank you. Teacher, Len, Len is cuerpo. Es el, es el, el, el cuerpo del, del, del mensaje. ¿Qué tan amplio va a ser? Por eso se menciona que hay que ser concisos. Ir a lo que se va. No va a ser algo tan extenso. Ok. But let us start talking about this now. Okay, the first question that I have here is, uh, do you send email every day? And the next says, should email be brief or long? Can you mention three tips uh, to write effective email? Okay, think about this three question and then you are going to answer it. Okay, we got three questions, right? How many people do we have in the group? Let me see. I'm going to stop sharing. I got 20. Okay, let me see. Okay, Don Jose Aleman, Gabriela, Edwin Alexis, eh, Mauricio Antonio, Ingrid, Sara, and Sergio are going to focus your attention in the first question. Ce Cecilia, Edwin, Janet, Hector, Yesenia. And Mercedes are going to focus your attention in the second question. And Esmeralda, Jonathan, Natalia, Carlos, Roxana, y Paola, you are going to focus your attention in question number three. I'm going to show you again. Okay. We got the, the question. The first one, do you send emails every day? Okay, who wants to answer this question? I already mentioned seven or, or six people related with this question. Okay. Yes, yeah, share with me. Okay, the information. Okay, tell me. I don't send emails. Uh, I never send emails. I going to to give the information to my boss, and my boss send the emails every oh, day. I, I got you. I got you. Okay, thank you, somebody else. My teacher. Okay. Uh, yes, I do. I send emails every day. It's my day to day. Okay.
teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, uh, I send emails uh, three uh, every day. Uh, my boss uh, send reports. Okay. Thank you. What about the second question? Should it may be brief or long? I already mentioned the group of people that is going to answer this question. Me, teacher. Okay. For me, a brief, but is depending the context. But I I prefer uh, emails brief and clearly, very very clearly. Okay, thank you. Someone else? Someone else, please? Me, teacher. Okay. I send emails all the time and they are long. Long? Yes, long. Oh, okay. Okay, and for the another group, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, tips for write an effective email. Great email subject. Place greeting and wording of the message. Be short and punctual. Okay, thank you. Someone else, please. Uh, me, teacher. Uh, be clear and avoid technical language if possible. Uh, cordial greetings and use good spelling. Ah, good spelling too. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Someone else? Me, teacher? Okay, go ahead, sir. And, uh, and the first question, teacher. Yes, okay. I do. I send an email every day. And the second, my answer, ideally, <coughs> the email will be short. And now, and the email is alone, it can be boring. For the reader teacher. Okay. And the uh, and the uh, critic to write. I my idea is uh will be sure and now short sentences are simple, short sentences are clean, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, someone else? Me teacher, question number three. Okay, question number three. Yes, uh, right, what is necessary? Uh, read and use appropriate, no sé cómo se dice apropiado. Appropriate. Appropriate language. Language, language. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, that's it. Let us continue then. You already have some ideas and how you are going to do in order to write down an email.
And the second question says, should email be brief or long? Well, according to the recommendation that I showed at the beginning, there said that you need to be concise. And at least that you are going to share some document, maybe could be long, but remember that not all the people are, is going to have uh, the right time in order to, to read all the information. So uh, we need to be careful about that. Okay, the second question or, or activity, I'm sorry, you are going to share which tips for writing formal email do you follow? And later on, you are going to compare your answer with a pattern. You are going to check it. Do not use all capitals. Avoid using the subject important. Use a, a formal salutation. Be brief, express clearly why you are writing. Do not use abbreviation and do not use smiles. Okay, check it. I'm going to give you some time in order that you can do it. And later on, we are going to discuss with the class. If you have any question, just let me know, please. I'm here in order to help you. Okay, who wants to share the tips that she's? Me, teacher? Okay, let me see what you... My tips for writing a formal email are use a formal salutation, be brief, express clearly why you are writing, Okay, that's it. Thank you, someone else please. Next. Uh, 
me teacher uh, okay in my case do not use all capitals uh, use a formal salutation uh, express clearly why are you are writing uh, do not use abbreviations and do not use smiles okay thank you Let me see if someone wants to do it. What about you, Sara? Oh, no, Sara is a listener now. Sorry, sorry. What about you, Yesenia? No quiero que esta pregunta a mí no entiendo. Lo que estamos viendo ahorita no entiendo. Okay, who wants someone else wants to tell me? Natalia. Okay, teacher. In my case, we must we must write a mess message bridge on on desktop. We must verify the information before sending it. We must as for confirmation of the email. Okay. Well, I'm going to read again. Uh, in order that you get familiar with that, with all these uh, items that we have here. For example, the first one said, do not use all capitals. Do not use all capitals. About using the subject important, use a formal salutation. Be brief, express clearly why you are writing. Do not use abbreviation and do not use smiles. Okay. Do you consider that we, we, we don't need to use all capitals? And why? Tell me. What What is the meaning of that? Do not use all capitals. Como no usar la, la letra en, mayú, en mayúsculas, todo el contexto. Ah, ok, ok. And do you know why? In my case, I use the all capital teacher in the email. Ah, ok. I'm going to give you a, a, a hand with that. And I hope that you can uh, keep it oh. for you, ok? Ok. Okay, and let me see. I'm going to keep sure. it in this way. In, okay. In my case, uh, do not use all capital. Capital. Okay. It is considered room. Is considering. Rule, teacher? Yeah, yeah, rule. Okay. That is what I want to explain. Uh, may, uh, maybe later on we are going to study a topic related with netiquettes. Uh, explain that the way that we are going to behave uh, in the web. And when, when we write uh, something in a chat or even in an email with all capital letter, mean that you are yelling to someone else. 
cuando escribimos letra eh, mayúscula toda, es como que le estemos gritando a alguien. Eso dice en las et nuevas et en etiquetas eh, relacionadas al uso de la web. Que más creo que sí sale en uno de los temas más adelante. Entonces, como sugerencia es que eh, si acostumbramos a hacerlo, uh, stop doing that because uh, it's going to be better if just yes, we capital, uh, capitalize only just uh, the first word of a sentence, but not for the rest of the, of the the length of the email or a letter. Okay, somebody. Okay, teacher. Okay, I somebody. consider in the future. Okay, okay. That is pretty good. Referente a eso de las netiquetas, creo que sí vamos a ver un tema relacionado a eso, que son como las normas o reglas que debemos de seguir cuando estamos en la web, al momento de estar en un chat, si usted escribe eh, solo letra mayúscula, es como que está enojado, gritando, y se considera, como dijo la compañera, algo rudo. Entonces, estamos justamente para hacer cambios y ir aprendiendo cosas nuevas. Así es que tranquilos, no, no, no se, se sientan así. Eh, solo es de hacer el cambio y vamos adelante. Okay, somebody check it, use your form of salutation, express clearly why you are writing, and do not, do not use smile. Okay, that is what we mentioned in the previous one. So, uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here, no? Questions? Teacher, um, why no be brief? Why? Why no use be brief? Be brief. Uh, we, we, can, we can include it too. Be brief because uh, we need to go directly to the point. That is really important too. I read only just the one that someone checked there. But also uh, we, we need to express clearly why uh, we are writing the email, the reason. And, and okay. Yeah. But if but if the email is long, I can be more boring teacher. And on reading, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all depend all depend on the information that you are going to manage in in the email. It's the pen teacher. Yes. Yeah. All depend on. Okay. 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 Yes, but in general, uh, we need to be brief and express uh, clearly the reason why we are writing. Because we need to think in the time that the, the another person is going to have in order to read a long email. Of course, you want to explain uh, exactly maybe your ideas but you can do it with using uh, keywords in order that the another person can understand you exactly what you want to convey. Okay. Okay, the next is number four. Let me see the time I got here, okay. This one, we are going to study this step to write a formal email. But first of all, what we are going to do is just to read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. And the next step is that for informal email, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. But let us do the first one. Okay, number one, say fill in the subject line with the topic relevant to your recipe and not just document uh, document or important. Do not just document or important. Take a, take a look at that. Number two, include a polite salutation. Example given, the Mr., the Miss, good morning, etc. 
Number three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Number four, don't use all capital or all lowercase letter. Right here, we are going to be careful about this because as I told you before, we are not going to use all capital, but also we are not going to use all lowercase. We need to capitalize some letter. Number five, say avoid abbreviation. Example, PLZ, in order to say please, that is not for our mom. Number six, be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Don't forget these two key words, please and thank you. Be brief if your message is too long. Consider using an attachment. Do you know what is this? Do you know what is a, an attachment? Adjuntar? Yes. Attach, attach, put together. Okay, number A, use a closing phrase like best regard, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Number nine, as a signature blog with appropriate contact, information, your name, business, address, and phone number. And the last number 10, a bit and proofread before you send the message. Okay, I invite you to read again and then ask me if you have any doubt related with one of the points that I got here. If you keep in mind all these aspects, I guess that you are going, I believe, I'm not guess. I believe that you are going to be efficient writing emails. Teacher. Hello, sir. I don't understand the one idea, teacher. Which one? Feel in the subject like with a topic relevant to your recipe. Lo podría explicar en, en español. No entiendo toda esa idea, qué es lo que quiere decir. En la parte donde dice sabio, o sea, el, el, el tema del email, usted lo va a llenar con un tema relevante. ¿Sí? No le va a poner solamente documento o la palabra importante. A eso se refiere. Ah, ok, ok. Si, por ejemplo, fuese que a su empresa le están pidiendo una cotización, usted no le va a poner importante, usted le va a poner cotización. Un ejemplo simple. Or maybe if... Okay, Edwin, tell me, Alfredo. Tell me, Edwin, Alfredo. You got an idea. Teacher, what is the meaning avoid? And number five? Number five? Yes. Avoid abbreviation. Evite abbreviaciones. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, what else? Questions? Questions? Uh, teacher, uh, the number 10, could you explain more, please? Edit and read before you send the message. What is the meaning of profit? Proofread, corrija, corrija. Mm. Eh, más que todo si hay errores ortográficos. A eso se le llama proofread. Mm. Okay. 
editar, eh, yo creo que ya la mayoría sabemos. Yes. Buscar el margen, tipo de letra. Eh, as I told before, uh, we start this module. Um, you are going to enrich your vocabulary with, in, with new words. And you need to create your own uh, vocab. If you practice, uh, it's going to be easy for you in the next module. But you need to keep in mind uh, the right pronunciation of each word. Okay, thank you. Okay. Eso es el significado de proofread, corregir el texto. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más tenemos? Hello. Okay, uh, let us, uh, in order that you can uh, keep uh active in the class let me see okay hold the second okay hold on let me count it here i'm going to count it i'm going to read okay don jose aleman me va a leer el number one uh, gabriela number two uh, Mauricio Antonio está de oyente. I'm not pretty sure, but if you can, you can read number three. Si eh, Mauricio no puede leerlo, eh, va a seguir Ingrid. Si Ingrid no puede, va a seguir Cecilia. And number four is going to be, uh, well, all depend. Sara López, eh, Sergio Adolfo, and Edwin Alfredo. Okay, let us stand now. Let me see. Every one of you is going to read one item right there, okay? Let us start now, please. Don Jose Aleman, please read the number one. Hello, teacher. I need that you read the number one, please. Phil is the subject like with a topics relevant to your recipe, 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 and, and not job document or important. Okay. Listen, I'm going to read again. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipe and not just document or important. Okay, thank you. Continue the next person, please. With the number two. I include a polite... I include a polite salut salutation. Egypt, dear Mr. Dear Miss, good morning. Hey, 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, hey, Include, ATC. listen, include a polite salutation. And the meaning of this abbreviation is this example given. Eso quiere decir el EG, example given. Ejemplos dados, ¿sí? Y aparecen los ejemplos aquí. Esto generalmente aparece en los diccionarios. Ok, siguiente. Please. What, write your main point in the opening sentence. Ok, write your main point in the opening sentence. Okay, number four. Number four. 
Me teacher. Okay. Don't use all capital or a lower case letters. Okay, don't use all capital or all lower case, a lower case letter. Okay, next. Number five. Number five. Somebody else, please. Number five, read it. Me, teacher, uh, avoid abbreviations. Example given PLC. Please. Please avoid abbreviation. Okay. Number six. Me, teacher. Me teacher. Remember to cry, please, and thank you. Before I remember to my please and thank you. Okay, number seven, next. Next. Me, teacher. Okay. Be, be, be bright. Bright. If your message is too long, consider using, a, using an attachment. Okay, number seven, be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Okay, thank you. Number eight. Who wants to read it? Number eight. Me, teacher? Okay, do it, sir. Use a closing phrase like best rigors, rigors, Looking forward to your comment, etc. Okay, thank you. Number nine. Hey, teacher. Okay, Owen. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Your name business address and phone number and phone number okay ten Peter. okay edit and proceed before you send the machine okay thank you try to keep in mind all these tips that is going to help you a lot. Well, okay, let us show, I'm going to show you the presentation in order that you get some information related with this. Okay, any comment right now uh, until here? Related with the topic, just tell me if you have any question or something like that. Remember, this is uh, beginning number three. This is the three module. So that is the reason why we are going deeper in the language, especially technical term related with the, the word. That is the reason why uh, it's called English para el trabajo. Okay, no preguntas. No. Oh. oh okay.
Okay, let us switch a little bit. In order to be sure that you are doing the your right way. Okay, let me share with you something. Uh, okay, veamos, veamos, teníamos algo ahí. Yesenia decía, no le comprendí, teacher. Yo lo escucho medio cortado porque no tengo buena señal. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how, how, how do you hear me now, Yesenia? Hoy sí me puede oír, sí me puede oír mejor. Sí, es que por rato se me va la señal, entonces casi no la escucho. Ah, ok. Bueno, esperemos que no, que no se le vaya la señal. Okay, let us continue with the next activity. Uh, you, I need that you click on, on the next uh, link that I already shared in the Zoom chat. And the, later on, we are going to resolve uh, in the class how to do with uh, emails. Tiene que ver con la, lo que estamos haciendo ahora.
As soon as you finish, let me know, please. Finish, teacher. I finished, teacher. Okay. Finish the chair. Okay. Finish. Okay. Okay, what about the rest? Did you finish? Okay, I'm still waiting. Okay. Here we go. Okay, just tell me uh, where I need to add the CC email address. Where I can put it, this one. In the second 
option teacher. right here yes let us see okay you say this one right okay what about sender name the last option teacher right here yes Okay, um, what about greeting, dear? For action, teacher. For action is here. Okay, what about subject? Option three, three. option. Option? Three. Three, right here. Okay, introduction. Number five. Number five, right here. Okay, sign off, kind of regard. After the lies, of the last teacher after, after of... sender name right here yes 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 correct right 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 main paragraph sorry number eight number nine is this Yes. Okay, um, main paragraph two. Before number seven. Two email address. The first. Okay, main paragraph one. Six line, line six. Six line, which one is missing? A closing paragraph. Closing paragraph. Nine line teacher. Okay, let us check up. Okay, you got it. If you want, you can take a screenshot. Okay, let us continue. Okay, right here you are going to read because I need that you participate. Uh, okay, the topic it is saying how to write a formal email. Okay, the object, the uh, object objective of this session identify the different part of the email learning the formal language of email and contracting a formal email. Okay, that is our main point. Why email is important? I don't know if you want to read it. A push technology, smart and free, adding attachment and documented. What is that? Tell me. 
Or maybe you can give me your, your own answer to the question why email is important. Just let us know what do you think about. Okay, answer the question, please answer the question. I need that you interact with me. Why? And for me, teacher, it's, it is a formal, formal communication, medio de comunicación formal, como se diría. A formal way to communicate in a, in a fast or easy manner. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about the rest? Teacher. Hello, For example, email is uh, important uh, for business com communication that is fast. Okay, uh, it's a way that we can send the info and in short time, the next person is, is going to have it to see it too, okay? That is why wow. we say a push technology. A smart and free, adding attachment and document it too. Okay. Is accessible in easily replication teacher? Also. Okay. Well, let, let us see the structure of the email. Okay, there are four parts. Let us say in this way. The number one, greeting. Number two is body. Number three is ending. And number four is closing. Okay, keep in your mind these four parts. Greeting, body, ending, and closing. Okay. Who wants to to help me read? Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Sir. Use use the word there, then the last name of the person. If you know the name of the person you are writing to, use Mr. for male and Mrs. for female. And you don't know the name, you can write their sir, uh, Magda, or to run or to whom is make concerns. Okay, thank you. Use the word dear, then the last name of the person. See, dear Paris. Okay, could be in that way. Uh, if you know the name of the person you are writing to, use Mr. Lopez for, for male and Mrs. for female. If you don't know the name, you can write dear sir, Madame, or to whom it may concern. Que eso sería a quien interese, to whom it may concern. Okay. Start by saying why uh, you are writing this email or what you are responding to. Another scene is reasons for writing, applying for a job, uh, replying, making a request, asking information, offering help, 
complaining, apologizing, attaching, attaching files. Okay, I need that you understand this. This line, please, if you have any doubt, let me know. Question, questions? No question. No question, okay. Okay, let us see the ending. At the end of your email, you should provide a thank you or call to actions. Take these sentences as example. Thank you for your assistance. We thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing back from you. And all that could be, please feel free to call or email me if you have any questions. Or I, I can say I could appreciate it if this could be taken care of promptly. Okay, take a look at that, please. Be taken care from it. I could, I, I could appreciate if, if this could be taken care of from me. What is the meaning of that? I would me gustaría agradecer if this could be taken. Me gustaría agradecer, me gustaría agradecer esto sí yo debería tomar. I would appreciate it. This could be taken care of only. Teacher. Hello. What's mean? Uh, feel free. Siéntase libre de. Okay, thank you. Tengo libertad de. Okay, what else? Okay, I'm still waiting for the last. I could appreciate it. This, this could be taken care of for me. Apreciaría mucho si se le toma importancia tan pronto sea posible, you know, if it's, it's a way we can say that. Okay, okay, we are ready. Talk about this too. The next part is gonna be uh, the closing. Okay, the closing of a formal email can be the same as the closing to a letter. However, unlike the salutation, there are more options for a closing. For example, thank you, Beth regard, sincerely. Don't forget that the closing the formal email can be the same as the closing to a letter. Okay, uh, I would like to know if you got a picture about this related with the closing. 
you, you can just write thank you, best regards, sincerely. And it's pretty good if you do that now. Questions? No? Online teacher? If the difference or, or no gustar or, or no, or no parecer. What is the significance, teacher? Which one? I'm like. Un like. Sin embargo, o no gustar. No parecer. ¿Cómo sería el significado ahí, teacher? ¿De, de cuál, cuál? ¿Qué palabra es? Es un like. However. Ahí um, es sin embargo. Uh, un like. Un like. Un like. Un like. Un like. Ajá. Um, light, esto sería como el negativo de like. Uh -huh. es una, eso es un prefijo. When we add a, a, a prefix to a word, uh, sometimes we use the meaning. Ahí sería como diferente a, al saludo, ¿no? Eso de unlike sería como diferente, distinto. Ok, teacher. Sería entonces... Diferente de un saludo. Ok. Ok. Ok, let us continue then. Ok, and we got an example here. This is the way that you can see it at the moment that you are going to write down two. With copy two, the subject is going to be here, the green here, and this is going to be the par paragraph, and this is the name of the person you are finding. Just take a look at, at the structure. And you can see it right here. If you want, you can read uh, every part of the email. It's related with the, the, the one that we already talked about. I guess you already have it. Okay, let us talk about do's and don'ts. Que hacer, que no hacer. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, we will we'll talk about this. Do use a formal email address, use an informative subject, say what is the email about, and use paragraph to make your email clear and easy. Okay, yes, let me know if you don't understand something related with this. So who wants to read it? Alguien que lo lea, por favor. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Do use a formal email address. Use an informative subject saying what is the email about. Use Paragraphs to make your email clear and easy. Okay, thank you. Any question? Okay, what about don'ts? Who, who wants to read it? Teacher, 
Hello, sir. Go ahead, sir. Do it, mister, do it. Microphone, microphone. Your microphone, Mr. Lehmann. Hello, teacher. Hola. Hello. Hello. Please. Me escuché. Ok, go ahead. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Don't use hello or hi as you say it like. Don't talk about a relevant subject. Don't forget in cross or is in a right rhyming to mailing in the body or the email that you attach in feeling. Don't use coming verse. We have saying police board so is goal in cool. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I'm going to read again. Don't don't use hello or hi as your subject line. Don't talk about irrelevant subjects. Don't forget in case of an attachment to mention in the body of the email that you attach the file. Don't use command verbs without saying polite words such as good or cool. Mm -hmm. Would you like to? Could you? Yeah, that way. Okay, thank you. Let us see what else do we have. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we already talked about, okay. I get that's it related with this. Okay, what else? Okay, let us continue. Uh, let me see the time that we have now. In activity number five, we, we can find the next instruction. Okay, so you turn, write a professional email to a co-worker and confirm that you need to meet with her or him tomorrow. Apply the suggestion for exercise five. Okay, one thing that we are going to do right now is the following. I am going to ask you to write down your email in the chat of room <laughs> in order that we can share some information related with that. I don't know if you got my message. If uh, in activity five that we need is just to write an email to a co-worker, what you can do is just to share your email with someone else.
Ok, si la actividad es de escribir un, un email, lo que podemos hacer, uh, we can choose the person uh, that is going to work with us and we can share the emails. Podemos elegir eh, con cualquiera de nuestros compañeros y luego pedimos eh, el, el email y lo compartimos en el chat de Zoom para poder ir tomando de ahí y hacer lo que debemos de, de la actividad, ¿ok? Si, por ejemplo, yo voy a trabajar con don José Ernesto, yo le digo, don José Ernesto. Hello. Ok, I'm going to share with you my email address. Voy a, a compartir con usted mi, mi, mi correo electrónico. Ah, ok. Entonces significa que él va a estar pendiente de el chat, porque de ahí lo va a tomar. Si fuese, por ejemplo, a... Uh... Ahí mismo incluso en el chat se puede conseguir el correo de cada uno. En mi caso, si yo ya le advertí a don José Ernesto que voy a compartir mi email, entonces él va a estar pendiente y yo justamente lo comparto ahí. De ahí solo se copia y se abre, se lleva a, a, su, a su cuenta para poder escribirlo. But I don't know if uh, some, one of you got some problem in order to do that. Pero no sé si alguno tenga problema para poder ir a, a abrir dónde va a escribir su correo. Ayúdenme, díganme, por favor. Hola, hola, hola. Sorry, teacher. Necesito que enviemos un correo eh, real ¿Sí? es a kind of exercise es, es como es un ejercicio pero me gustaría que el ejercicio lo hiciésemos con, usando los correos que ya tenemos porque sería la única forma de poder practicarlo de la manera más adecuada que esto es lo que dice esto es lo que dice la actividad sí. email school worker ¿Dónde? Escriba un email profesional a un compañero. Venga, haci haciendo que, confirmando que usted necesita reunirse con él o con ella el día de mañana. ¿Sí? Aplique las sugerencias del ejercicio 5. Tiene que escribirlo Ok, entonces para poder hacerlo, lo más lógico es que... Okay. Por eso le preguntaba si es fácil para usted okay. poder desde aquí mismo accesar a su, a su correo okay. electrónico. Okay. Not a problem for me. Excuse me? Not a problem for me. It's not a problem? Dígale que qué correos tiene que poner. That's right. No, it's not a problem. No es problema para mí. Ok, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, what I want is that you. Uh... Pregúntale ahorita que si no, no le puedo preguntar después. Should your coworker who wants to work with. Elija por favor con quién quieres hacerlo. Sí, yo no sé cómo hacer esto. No sé okay. cómo. Escribir un correo por eh, eso. Con Google, Sergio. ¿no? Okay, microphones, microphone, microphone, please. Ojo. Cada uno de ustedes va a elegir con quién quiere hacer el intercambio de... Pero si no, para que no nos compliquemos... No, pero siempre vamos a necesitar el, el correo electrónico del compañero. Teacher. Hello, sir. 
I can send email uh, to Amilcar. Ah, okay. You can work together. Thank you. Okay. You can share your email. Uh, if you don't have it, you can share it. In the same way, I have to do the next. Lo mismo pueden hacer los demás. But let me show you how can you deal with this situation. Okay, mira, mira, te lo voy a explicar en español. Para que no hayan eh, complicaciones. Observa. Take a look, take a look at this. I don't know if you can see it. ¿Sí? ¿Podemos ver? Yes, teacher. Ok. Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Yes. If you already sign with, with your uh, email, si usted ya entró con su email a, 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 al, al Google, entonces ya aparece acá. De lo contrario, aquí le va a aparecer una imagen, un icono. Pero si ya lo tengo así, si ya inicié cuenta, entonces ahora solo me vengo donde dice eh, Gmail. En este caso, si yo estoy usando Gmail. Y ahí me va a abrir mis... Ahí va. Ahora me vengo, sin estar viendo más, me vengo donde dice redactar. Le doy clic en redactar. Y me va a aparecer esta cajita de diálogo. Para aquí voy a escribir el, la dirección de correo electrónico. Aquí si voy a enviar con copia a quién. El asunto es como el tema. Y luego aquí voy a escribir ya el cuerpo de él. Y si le voy a agregar un attachment lo voy a hacer justamente de acá. Y luego le doy enviar. Y sí. ¿Sí me copiaron cómo lo hice? Yes, teacher. Ok. Ok, try to do it. And then we are going to share it. But don't forget to share your email. No olviden compartirse las, los correos electrónicos. Pero si no lo quieren hacer con, con los compañeros acá, usted puede hacerlo como que le envía a un compañero de trabajo suyo. Lo único que como es un ejercicio, si usted le envía algo a un compañero de trabajo, se va a quedar ahí pensando y va a decir, bueno, ¿y por qué me enviaron este email? Ok, hagamos algo live, no se compliquen, por favor. Ok. You have five minutes to do it. Veamos qué podemos hacer en cinco minutos. Ok, teacher. Okay. Eh, yo le podría enviar un correo a ese correo que usted colocó. Oh. Ah, ok, hold on. Let, let me add something. Podría ser una idea, teacher. Yes, but let, let me switch. Ahí me le faltó algo a mi correo ese para que me lo pueda, para poderlo recibir. Ok. Sería el correcto así de esta manera. Ah, cuando uh... Max Lazo. Sí. Max. Gmail.com. Ok. You, if you want, para que no haya problema, si ustedes quieren, envíenmelos a mí. Así para no, que no se... Para no, estar, okay. para no estar haciendo tanto intercambio. Ahí está mi correo. Ok, teacher. Maxlazo.com o sea, acuérdense que es el último. Es el último que acabo de enviar. Click. Click. Ok, let us do it now, please. As soon as I got it, I'm going to show you. Tan pronto los tenga, yo se los muestro. 
Hagamos lo real para que aprendamos. ¿Sí? Let us do it in real situations like this. Question, si alguien de repente se, se pierde en el proceso, me va avisando, por favor. Teacher, y en el asunto que dijo que íbamos a colocar. Okay, en el asunto lo que va. Entrar. Let me show you. Confirm that you. About, about the meeting. Yeah, confirm that you need to meet with her or him tomorrow. Thank you. Confirmation about the meeting. Enviados principal, sí, que mejor redactar. Ok, tell me, mister. Ah, para, para, clic. Max. Lazo. Solo copienlo, solo copienlo del, del chat y solo lo pegan. Just copy and paste, copy and paste. Arroba. 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 Okay, teacher. I say yes. I, I got I got the fair one. I got the fair one, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Okay, our company believes that in order to provide customer with good quality service, we have to hold a meeting tomorrow at 9 a.m. Please reply to this email if you have any question or concern. Thank you, Britain. Okay. Pretty good, sir. And my answer is going to be this. Okay, I'll be there. And I send you the answer. Mm -hmm. I already sent it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me show it to the class. Oh. 
Okay, right here we I got I got uh one from Jonathan and one from Sergio. Okay, let, let me show this one first. I got it here. Take a look. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to share it with you. Let me share it. Let me share it. Okay, I got it there. Confirmation about the meeting. Uh, Jonathan Perez, dear, this is Jamal Lasso. And our company believes that in order to provide customer with a good quality service, we have to hold a meeting tomorrow at 9 a.m. Please reply to this email if you have any question or concern. Thank yes, you. Sure. Greeting. And Jonathan Perez. Okay, we got it there. You can see it. Let me see. Uh, I got Sergio. Let me show you Sergio. Okay, Sergio. Uh, wishing you have a nice day and thinking uh, for you, for your support. I would like to know if it is possible for you to hold a meeting tomorrow starting at 2 p.m. in order to define the work, methodology, and project plan. I will you respond. Okay. I'll, I, I'll, I'll be looking for your answer. Could be too. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, Best regard, okay. Only yes, right here. We need to talk in future. Okay, let me see. Amilcar is here. Dear Mr. Lasso, I hope you are well. I'm writing to you in order to confirm that um, the meet for tomorrow at 9 a.m. I will be happy to have the session for an English reinforcement. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Regard, Amilcar Campos. Okay, let me see. Somebody else, Edwin, is here. Okay, I hope you. I hope that you and your family are okay. The reason for this is to compare our meeting schedule for Monday, August 28, 2023. Waiting for your confirmation, greeting, and a happy day. Sincerely, Edwin Alcon. Okay, thank you. And the fear was there, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but the traduction this the hard. Uh-huh. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh the Mr. Lasso, it is a pleasure to greet you. I hope you are in a good health and have a, a smooth working day. The reason for this email is to conclude the meeting that we have previously scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m. in your office. To discuss the planning of the new project. Any question or comments, I am at your service. Greeting, Cecilia Aleman. Okay. Let me see somebody else, Yami. This is the last one. I would like to, okay, let me see. Let me see. What is the topic about irresponsibility of the students? My goodness. I would like to study more in the basic material about math, language, needs, so the students do not do the homework. I need your confirmation on the email. But regards, ahí la traducción, la traducción. Okay, be careful with the traductions. Okay, what about the rest? What about the rest? I got only yes, two, four, six, only six. Only six. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to keep on my eyes in my email in order to see if you if you wrote something to me, right? Bueno, yo voy a tener mis ojitos pegados ahí para ver si usted logró hacerlo. O no logró hacerlo. Okay, let me see what else. 
Well, I guess time is over. My goodness. Well. Well, 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 well. Don't forget, okay, as a reminder, como un recordatorio, uh, don't forget to, don't forget the greeting, how you are going to say it. Dear sir, so madame, to whom it may concern, dear Mr. or Mrs. John, dear or dear Smith, the reason for writing or replying could be I'm writing to make a reservation to apply for the position or to confirm my booking, to ask for further information about with reference to our telephone conversation on Friday. I would like to let you know that and you can continue saying. Or making a request asking for information. Could you please let me know if you can attend, if you are available for a meeting on 12th December, could you possibly arrange a meeting with the logistic manager? I would also like to know if there are any swimming pools in your area. As you can see uh, right here, uh, we are using some expression that we already started. Good, good, I good, you know? And the number four, uh, referring, uh, offering help, giving information. For example, we are happy to let you know that your article has been selected for publication. I am glad to inform you that we will be holding our annual conference in Brussels on 20 September 2014. Should you need any further information, assistant, please do not hesitate to contact us. And if you are going to complain about something, I'm writing to express my dissatisfaction with or to complain about, to regret to say that I was not completely satisfied with the room you provide us or I would like to receive a full refund and compensation for the damages. And apologizing that this one is gonna be the last one. We would like to apologize for any inconvenient cause. Please accept our apologies for the delay. Please let us know what we can do to compensate you for the damages cause. We will make sure that this will not happen again in the future. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. I already gave you some ideas in order that you can write emails. Well, let me check out the attendance now, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, America, I don't know if you are there, America. Carlos Amilcar. Present. Okay, Cecilia Maribel. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexis. Esmeralda del Rosario. Present. Okay, Gabriela Yamile Ramirez. Gabriela. Present teacher. Okay, Gisela Guadalupe Martinez Cruz. Héctor Enrique Santa Maria Aguilar. Present. Ingrid Geraldina Calderón Ruiz. Present. Okay, Jonathan Stanley Perez López. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Alemán García. Present teacher. Catherine Paola Jovel Rivas. No se encuentra. Present teacher. Ah, is there, is there, is there. Is there, Paola. Okay. Yes, teacher. Before I forgot, antes de que se me olvide, a usted le corresponden los 10 minutos para la tutoría al final de la clase. 
aliste, su, okay. aliste su pregunta y la veo al final. Ok, Candy, Natalia. Teacher, good night. Good night, sir. Good night, good night. Ok, Candy, Natalia. Mauricio, Antonio. Present, teacher. Ok, Mercedes, Alejandro Rivas. Present, teacher. Roxana Álvarez Chávez. Present, teacher. Roxana Elizabeth Landa Verde Marías. Present teacher. Ok, Ma Tara Aleja Alejandra López López. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Sergio Adolfo Fernández Rosales. Present teacher. Ok, Janet del Carmen Campos de Sandoval. Present teacher. Y Yesenia Lisset Aguilera Cruz. Present teacher. Oh, teacher, okay. don't mention me. Edwin Alfred? Yes. But no, don't mention me. My Edwin, name. Edwin Alfredo Alcón Calderón. Yes, yes. My name, teacher. My name. Ah, somebody else? No, it's present. present. Okay. The name? Yes, I mentioned you, Natalia. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you on Monday. Good night. See you okay, on Monday. Good night. Take care. Bye bye. Let us. Uh... Good night. Okay. Good night. Happy good weekend. Cool. Okay. Thank you. The same to you. Happy. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Don't forget to resolve all the exercises in the platform. Okay, Paola, Paola, are you there, Paola? I can stay, teacher. Okay, just... Paola. Okay, Let's... teacher. Okay, hold on a second. Permítame un segundo que todavía tengo a Mercedes aquí. Bueno, ya se nos Okay, Paola. Um... Well, in Spanish, if you want, uh, uh, I don't know if you have any question related with a topic that we already have studied. No sé si tiene alguna consulta, pregunta relacionada a algún tema que hemos estudiado. Es ahora eh, cuando podemos hacer las, 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 aclarar las dudas necesarias que tenga ahí. Fíjese, teacher, que me, me costó un poco con el, con el shoot o chulet, el el que estuvimos aprendiendo hace dos clases ayer um, ayer estuvimos viendo la parte de los ah esa fue yes. que estuvimos viendo el ejercicio de esa ajá entonces yo hice el, el ejercicio que nos puso aparte que con el enlace y algunas me salieron buenas sí. y yo logré, logré entender que es como se parece bastante al do y el das verdad Mm, o no tienen mm, relación no, generalmente el should sirve para dar sugerencias ah y, ah, y no que siempre iba como antes del verbo, ¿verdad? después del sí. del with day sí, for example, uh, let me give you an example le doy un ejemplo imagínese que usted me dice teacher, I got a headache usted me dice, mire, fíjese que me duele la cabeza Entonces yo le digo, you should take a, 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 a painkiller. Usted debería de tomar algo para su dolor de cabeza. ¿Sí? Uh, Entonces sirve para dar sugerencias. Y en pregunta, ¿cómo sería la pregunta en español? Eh, generalmente, fíjese que en pregunta... Eso es como que yo me dijera yo mismo, should I go there? Debería yo ir. Uh, sí. Entonces, vale. Ajá, ajá, vale, ajá, vale, vale. Va antes, perdón. Sí. Es como cuando, porque me recuerdo que había una oración con el Wii en, en, en pregunta, era una pregunta. Sí. Y recuerdo que él era como, entonces sería como decir, nosotros deberíamos ir a caminar o cosas así. 
como la suya. So let, let me let me try to get um hold on a second please ten, ten segundo. también me costaba me costó un poco cuando se utiliza el tú el infinitivo el tú no el 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 tú to going to el... Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ok, estamos hablando de cuándo usar el infinitivo, ¿sí? Ajá. Ok, aclaremos primero que para hablar de infinitivo generalmente es cuando tenemos la partícula to. Ajá. To Solo para el bio, teacher, yo eso es lo que busco, como que, que vaya el tú. Y sé que el tú va antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre. Generalmente, cuando uso el to antes del verbo, eh, como que la terminación al traducirla termina en ar, er, ir. Ajá. Eh, un ejemplo podría ser, I would like to study. ¿sí? Me gustaría estudiar. Entonces, por eso va así, I would like to study. Me gustaría estudiar. Ajá. ¿sí? Entonces, ahí voy a hacer uso del infinitivo. Cuando generalmente, eh, al traducirlas al español, terminan en ar, er, ir. Ok. ¿Sí? Se, se parece mucho a lo que nos enseñaba también con los verbos. Cuando terminan en, en la pronunciación, recuerdo el nombre que nos dijo. Cuando es en et, parece, ed. Sí, y... Y, y tenemos tres maneras de cómo pronunciar. Pero es con los verbos que de igual forma terminan en ar, el ir, ¿verdad? Mm, ahí es diferente. Ahí es diferente porque eh, ahí es el sonido. Uh -huh. Es el sonido de cada uno de ellos. Entonces, dependiendo de la terminación del último sonido antes de agregar el ED, así es la clasificación que vamos a hacer. Uh -huh. ah, yo más bien creo, teacher, que en el momento yo agarro la idea, pues, sí. porque la comprendo, pero ya después me cuesta un poco como procesarla, como... Para decir, entiendo la idea, pero voy a hacer algo práctico ya ahorita. No me, no me, o sea, eso es lo que más se me dificulta. Sí, ahí lo que yo le recomendaría es que en su, en su cuaderno de apuntes, uh -huh. usted anote todos los detalles pertinentes para que pueda eh, recordar con mayor facilidad. Uh -huh. Y eh, la otra es que en el material hay oraciones, hay ejercicios que hacer eh, referentes a los temas que vamos viendo. Aquí, por ejemplo, yo tengo el material. Eh, aquí en esto vamos encontrando... Algunos temas que, 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 ir, que ir realizando. Por ejemplo, aquí. Cómo usar el pasado simple, oraciones. Y con yes, no question. Y aquí me va dando algunos ejemplos. Entonces, por aquí ya mismo aparece lo que estábamos hablando. Cómo usar el, la, el infinitivo en preguntas de información. Aquí, how to use information question. Estas son preguntas de información. ¿Cómo se pueden hacer? Y eh, además de eso, aquí mismo eh, podemos encontrar el uso de... Bueno, aquí aparecen todos los temas. La voz pasiva. Eh, el uso de lo que estábamos diciendo. De la IMG form after preposition. Estos son temas que los vimos al inicio. Uh -huh. Entonces, auxiliese del material. Y eh, aquí... Lo que ahí está, puedo ir practicando. Sí, aquí, mire, por ejemplo, en la página número 10, aparece justamente el uso del infinitivo. Uh -huh. Sí, aquí dice que el ejercicio 2 y el 3, qué verbos son usados para escribir la misión y la visión de 
de una empresa. Ajá, recuerdo que vimos esa parte. Entonces lo refiere a, lo refiere como se llama a un ejercicio específico. Y luego eh, aquí mismo aparece la explicación de cómo se usa el infinitivo y hicimos hasta este ejercicio. Sí, ahí estuvimos trabajando eso. Así es, entonces auxíliese del materialito y si todavía después de eso hay preguntas, con gusto le vamos a ayudar, ¿ok? De acuerdo, teacher. Ok. Le agradezco. Bueno, perfecto. Espero haberle ayudado en, en sus preguntitas. Y si hay dudas, pues me puede escribir ahí eh, y con gusto le damos algunos ejemplos. De... Ok. Le agradezco mucho, Roye, Ok. por su esfuerzo. Ok. Gracias, Thank Jorge. you. Good night and take care. I hope to see you next week. Good night, teacher. Ok. Good night.